Hi guys, this is uh, Mark at Mid Valley Greenhouse. Today we're going to talk about fertilizer. Um, a commonly asked question that I hear a lot, people, you know, we're assuming that, let's just assume that no, we don't know anything. So we start there. People ask what, what do these three numbers mean on the front of a fertilizer container? These are your primary elements. The first number is your nitrogen, the second number is your phosphorus, and the last number is your potassium. On the back of some fertilizer containers, you're going to find your primary elements or your secondary elements, which is going to be calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. Then it's going to have a list of micronutrients or minor elements if it's a, com a complete fertilizer. Um, what these numbers actually represent is the actual percentage of that element in this bottle. And so this bottle contains 7% nitrogen, 4% phosphorus, and 10% potassium, then everything else listed back here. Um, with container growing, which is, uh, we do a lot of in Alaska, these um, complete fertilizers are critical. To success. You have to have calcium and magnesium. Like I said, tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, um, green, even green beans, strawberries, stuff like that in containers. You, you either have to have it or you have much better success. Um, the, the, the hardest part about finding um, an excellent fertilizer is sorting through information. You get on Google or Amazon and you go to find your fertilizer or even go to a store. There's just shelves and shelves of fertilizers. Well, we can assume it's for all different kinds of plants and stuff, but really a lot of it, they're, they're gimmicks. 90% of them you should put in a dump truck and get rid of. They're, they're garbage. Um, what we want to find out is <clears throat> what is the genetic potential of a plant? And the only way we can find that is by using fertilizers that have been tailored for specific um, types of plants. Like tomato fertilizers are tailored for tomatoes. And um, the guys in the white coats, much smarter than most of us, they figured this stuff out a long time ago. And they, they can make a perfect science of it if, if we listen. So the way we can find that out is by using complete fertilizers that were tailored for a, a specific crop and sending in leaf samples. That's how we know what, what is the truth. And so everybody has something to sell, but we want to know, well, how do we know it, that works? Well, we have, we can use observation, but there's lots of things that work. We're after production. We're after finding the genetic potential of a plant. How much can I get off of that if I do everything perfect? And it starts with, fertilizers that were designed for um, specific plants like this master blend is an excellent product for growing tomatoes peppers cucumbers it's it's very good and, and it, most these have been uh, formulated by doing leaf samples and so we send in leaf samples off our plants to labs they dry out all the elements and they weigh them and they send us back bar charts they know the the exact needs of a tomato plant from its seedling stage to the end of its life. And so when we're talking fertilizers, I mean, we can get away with general use fertilizers in growing in the garden or something, or uh, we do a soil test and it shows we don't need a whole lot of this and that. We can do that. We can use a lot of general use. In containers, you do not have near the success if you're using a general use fertilizer. So we want to use specific fertilizers that have the ratios that work for the, the plants of mention or, or whatever we're after. Um, we'll, we'll go more into this as we go. Um, we have antagonism to talk about, deficiencies, all these things that pop up in container growing. So we'll leave it here for now and I, I hope I didn't lose you somewhere. It's a lot to talk about in a, in a short video without breaking it down into several parts. So. We'll get back with you here in a little bit. Thanks.